procedural history and in dealing with LA bricks since we became notified of the proposed installation. I don't think anybody here is arguing that this uh, interoperability is, is key to public safety. I think that, that we can all agree that this is very important to public safety and to, to first responders. But I really think that the concern here is it does seem to be rushed without much consideration for the local community and the impacts. Now, just to clarify, what site, what is being proposed at the site is a 70 foot tall, tall pole um, and a lightning rod, which will probably be about 11 feet tall. And while we've requested the information, there may or may not be a red flashing light at the top because of the airport, um, the location with proximity to the airport. Um, there's four equipment count cabinets that are proposed to be installed at the base of the tower, um, not enclosed within an equipment shelter. And this proposal is approximately 10 feet from two single family residences. Although we can't clearly identify it because the only site plan we've been provided so far is what you see as exhibit two to your staff report. So we're using that as the best, you know, the best way we can anticipate is, as you know, how the construction would occur, should it occur. Now, um, when we first speak, and as you know, just as a, a reminder, just kind of going back to what the LA Bricks um, presentation provided, as they stated, this, this project is quickly shrinking. 231 sites were originally proposed. According to their, their PowerPoint, they said that there were 49 sites of those that had been removed. But according to the presentation that was just given, it's now 54 sites that have been removed. So um, it seems to be shrinking pretty quickly. At this point, I'm 